why is the lighting completely ass in here? I right now have a laptop facing at me and a desk light facing at me. And this is this phone that I'm filming this video on is propped up on a stick of deodorant. So that's what's going on for you guys. Let's get into the video. As you can tell, my room is the fattest mess you've ever seen. Stick of deodorant, don't fail me now. Does this help at all? So we have a box of crackers, finished. It's because if this has been in my room longer than two days, it's gonna be finished. I eat all the shit that I bring in here, except for the Easter candy that's right back there. <laughs> that is a Easter basket full of candy. At least I'm kind of healthy eating crackers instead of candy. Um, I think I will start a pile of dirty clothes over there. Ha! A school skirt. School's over, suckers. I don't have to see those fake hoes. You know, in elementary school, I called everyone a fake hoe. Then in middle school, I called everyone a fake hoe. And now in high school, I call everyone a fake hoe. Maybe I'm the fake hoe. Oh, this was my very first... This was my very, what the fuck? Okay, very first push-up bra. I got made fun of in the locker rooms for my bras. My mom used to buy all my bras for me and they were all disgusting because she has no taste. Love you, mom. So I was like, mom, I'm being made fun of because all my bras are crusty and musty. And this one's actually pretty crusty right now. What the fuck is this? <laughs> my crusty, musty whiteness is is gotten on the under boob of my push-up bra. But yeah, so then I got a bunch of cute little push-up bras, and this is my first one. <laughs> push-up bra and your confidence will skyrocket but your under boob pain will also skyrocket but beauty is pain oh look another freaking cracker box i'm actually a fat ass Not my problem. Man, that really sucks. This thing is like covered in like some brown liquid. But I used to use this all the time for my arms workouts during winter because I always get like a sudden urge to be fit during winter. New Year's, duh. And then I like get really into working out that I just gave up and I stopped trying to be fit. And I actually have huge arm muscles now because of using this. Um, look at those babies. That's actually not very big, but Please just appease my ego. I have that, but it looks like it looks like flab, fatty arms, but really it's muscle. So I'm not just telling myself that. Also, if I ever look off camera, it's probably because something is falling. I guess I should just throw this out because it's I'm I'm not gonna work out with this. It's covered in brown liquid. Do I know what the fuck this brown liquid is? No. Is it scaring me? Yes. Ew, what the fuck? Is there something in here? Uh, the most exercise I'm going to be doing today was reaching over to put that in the cup. I never store my laptop in this. Ever. Like, it's it's always just hanging out on my floor. I step on my laptop sometimes. No wonder that it's malfunctioning. Like, it's a, it's a new brand laptop and it's always malfunctioning. And you know, that's probably because I step on it. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> And that's why I didn't make the basketball team. <laughs> Sports are not my thing, said every theater person ever. No, actually, I wanted to try out for the basketball team when I was younger, because all the cool girls were on it. But also, I used to be somewhat decent at basketball. I once beat four boys at knockout, so give me a gold star. But yeah, I couldn't do it, because I had ballet um, three times a week, ever since I can remember. I quit that studio now. We've got a badass over here. You wanna see the dumbest freaking thing ever? Look at this. 
It was an art project at my old middle school. We had to write the same design over and over and over again. Like, maybe it's kind of cool, but the concept is so dumb, okay? It's like a horse and it's unicorn horn is like a C and then there's like this little I mean that's a little inappropriate looking if you ask me but then it has a carrot hanging off it and I guess it's reaching for the carrot like what the what the fuck what even was like middle school art classes I wonder if this still works ow This looks so nasty. Look at this. You can actually use this stuff to lighten your hair. Oh, there's, mm, there are brown spots inside of it. We are not putting that in my hair anytime soon. Oh, look, <laughs> a box of cookies. <laughs> what the fuck? I'll save these for later. So I have these books and I got this one a year ago and I have actually started reading it. I'm actually, I'm almost done. Um, but then I got the next book of the series, um, have not started reading that obviously. And then my very favorite series ever, I got the recent book for that too, which also is hella thick, like me, I have not started reading that either. And then I have this book, How to Find Your Soulmate Without Losing Your Soul, which sounds actually kind of interesting, you know? us single girls, we gotta read this kind of stuff because many shit. I just don't read ever. Like there are times when I'm just laying on my bed, like scrolling through YouTube. But then like later on, I'm like, you know, when I was mindlessly scrolling through YouTube, maybe I should have read this thick stack of books that I have to read. I can't even freaking read the books that were assigned to read in school. Julius Caesar, I read about. I want to say half, and I literally just faked it. Frankenstein, I don't even think I read half. And the thing is, I actually want to know what happens in that, because like, it sounds interesting. Kind of wish I had read that. Am I going to read it ever? Probably not. But I wish I had. It's the thought that counts, you know? We were assigned to read other ones, but I actually read those, because that was when I was a good student. Not so much second semester. Uh, here is the, the poster for my Cinderella school musical. Nowhere does it say Cinderella on it, and that is because we did not get the rights to say the word Cinderella. So we had to post these dumbass posters with this dumbass fucking pumpkin that infuriates me to look at. And it says, Spring Musical 2019. The prince is giving a ball. Will you attend? Disgusting! 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 Why did we sell out our shows? Like, who wants to see that? Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> that wasn't even close. Oh my gosh, I remember this. Look guys, it's a stone heart. It was an art project we had to make. I think we were supposed to just do like a regular heart but I drew the organ of a heart because, you know, I'm an artsy as fuck. And then I make it this little golden nail, driving into it and making thousands of little cracks. Um, so many cracks that it looks unrealistic. And then drop of blood. Um, and I also added some blue and green in there, which I actually think is kind of cool. You are subscribed to a talented YouTuber. And if you aren't subscribed yet, what are you doing? My ex-boyfriend gave me this basket. It was full of like bath things. It had like soap and candles and bath bombs. And now it's full of trash, just like him. Yes, I'm in high school and I have dated before. Some people are shocked. They're like, why do you have a boyfriend in high school? Well, you know what? People my age are losing their virginities in high school. So I think I'm doing a little bit better than they are. 
Oh look, a perfectly good bra was in the trash for some reason. I don't know why. You know all those people that they froze because they hope that like someday they'll be able to bring them back to life? I hope they figure out how to do that. Just so that they can bring Walt Disney back and he can save his fucking company. I found another earring. I lose my hoop earrings all the time. One time I lost a hoop earring in a haunted house. It was in their Satanist church and there were like people crawling around on the floor and it fell out in there. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna go back there because while I'm crawling around on the floor looking for my hoop, there will be scary people crawling around on the floor. So no, thank you. Lost that forever. Memories. Speaking of memories, um, I was watching this video about like, this girl who used to be a pathological liar and I think I used to be one too. No, I'm not self-diagnosing. But like, I convinced everyone at my old elementary school that I was British. And you might think, that's ridiculous. Who would believe that? Well, my dad is British. He has a British accent. Um, my mother is not. She met him while she was studying abroad in Britain, so. Aw, cute. Well, now they're divorced, so. So my dad already has a British accent, and then I just started imitating his British accent. I don't know why. Oh, I know why. It was my friend, she was from Pennsylvania, and she had a Pennsylvanian accent. And people were like, wow, your accent is so cool. And then later on I was like, that's so sad that you can't hide your accent. I hide mine because I want to sound normal. And then everyone was like, you have an accent? And I'm like, oh yes, I'm British. And they were like, what? And I was like, I can't do a British accent. I've grown up hearing my dad do a British accent and I can't even do it, what the heck? Yeah, so that is how I convinced my entire class that I was British when I wasn't. For a while, my guy best friend thought I was actually British. And that was the funniest thing to me because he was like, wait, weren't you born in Britain? I was like, no, why do you think that? And it was just never addressed, so. Dude, if you're watching this, um, I lied to you. Friendship. <laughs> To be honest, most of the people at my elementary school fucking hated me, and um, I can see why. I had this horrible, hideous haircut. Uh, I look like fucking Tiny Tim. Insert picture here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head! That was not good. But I was also just an annoying person. Am I supposed to read this too? I, I think I bought this book. Yes, I did buy this book. I, I know why I stopped reading this book though. Like I have a legitimate reason. Sorry, Scott Westerfield. I'm about to trash your book. So you know all those books that are like teen rebels? I hate them when it's like a fake society and then the teen is like, wait, this fake society is horrible. And then they rebel and they join like the rebellion. I hate those books, but like with this one, the society seems perfectly fine. And like, there really is no point for her to be joining the rebellion, except for that she loves the guy in the rebellion. This book was really good. I fucking love this book. It fucking scared me. It fucking scared me to death, but I loved it. Um, it's, I just open it and I see the word condoms love that so that just describes this book it's actually about vampires so definitely read it it's nothing like twilight it's fucking scary and kind of confusing but in a good way twilight let's talk about that i read that when i was about in seventh grade and my mom found out because my brother ratted on me and i had to mow the lawn a bunch it wasn't it wasn't that bad it was it was good the movies are awful oh this is perfume that my ex gave me so, instead of having this remind me of my ex, because I have another perfume that reminds me of a different ex, and so instead of having it remind me of him, and then I, that I can't wear it because it reminds me of him, and heartbreak, and shit like that, I sprayed it around my cat's litter box. And now when I smell it, I think of cat pee. So, cat pee and my ex, very similar, but... I mean, well now I, I wear it and I'm like, oh, I smell like cat pee, but I don't. I smell like perfume. 
that just reminds me of cat pee. And I'm hopefully no one thinks I smell of cat pee. Cat pee perfume. Wow, I have like a dozen like little candy wrappers in here. That's concerning. It's okay, Chloe. Just ignore the fact that your parents hate each other and they care about your brother more than you. And just clean like all women should. Oh. <laughs> Those were really good. Valentine's Day ding dongs. <laughs> I hate myself. Look how cute this thing is. You're supposed to set your phone on it to like watch videos. Wait. Oh my gosh, I'm a dumbass. I've been finding creative ways to set up my phone. I could have just used this freaking thing. Oh my gosh. And now I can throw this empty stick of deodorant away. This bra is broken. Trash. I don't have any aim. I would be a horrible boy. I just do not have aim whatsoever. Yes, I'm wearing really short shorts. I'm scandalous. Ooh. Yes, I've worn these shorts for three days straight. It's summer, okay? Let me do what I want. Covering up my parts. Doing Jesus' work. Do you guys remember these things? What are they? Blanket puppets. I think they have an official name. Oh my gosh, wait. Are they, is this a happy napper? We are happy, happy nappers. And we love to play with you. Mine has a really ugly stain on the bottom. So we're gonna hide this away from the public eye. And this was the bag that my ex gave me my last Valentine's Day gift in. It's black, like his soul. Just kidding, he's not that bad. What the fuck would you use this bag for? Don't bring this to someone's birthday party, like fucking funeral, I guess. Do you bring gifts to a funeral? A quarter. How nice. Because that will help my financial situation. So, I think we should all address the elephant in the room. I showed my feet in a YouTube video. That's right, it was a couple weeks ago, but it was still appalling and scandalizing. Why would I do such a thing? I am a minor. Am I a minor? Yeah, I'm, I'm a minor. Why is this being allowed? Well, that is because I have extremely ugly feet. And that's very unfortunate because I wish I could sell feet pics online. Like, do you know how easy that would be? Just uh, selling feet pics, you know? Like, what do you do for a living? <laughs> I sell feet pics. Like, I would love to do that. But, no, sadly, I have disgustingly ugly feet. I have bunions, first of all. I have ballet dancer feet, so all my toenails are like kind of misshapen. I used to have warts on my feet, actually. This is probably information I shouldn't be sharing online, but I used to have warts, got them lasered off. I still have candy canes in here from Christmas. Can I even still eat these? Dude, I have a $50 gift card to JCPenney. I'm freaking rich, bro. No expiration fee. Bet. You've probably been wondering what this is throughout the course of the video. You've probably seen it in the back. It's a poster of kittens. Um, that should be on my wall. In the very beginning, you might have noticed a huge blank space. Um, I'm going to be putting this and this up on my wall sometime in the future. You know what? I'll put it on my bed so that way I'll make sure to put it up by the end of today. Because when something's on my bed and I'm ready to sleep, I will do anything to get that thing in its right place so that I can sleep. Because sleeping, mucho importante. I've never been able to pull an all-nighter because I just love sleep too much. I'm gonna move this chair back to where it belongs. It has to shit. It's supposed to be here right in front of my desk, but it hasn't been here because there's been such a huge pile of trash. But now that pile of trash has been cleaned. I wasn't even cleaning the whole video. I was just moving stuff around and now I'm actually cleaning so that there's a good before and after shot. 
only the real one will recognize this. I think it was in my first and my second vlog. Uh, yeah, it was hanging up over there, except it was drooping because it was completely out of air. Yeah, so that was a great, great addition to the backdrop of my two vlogs. Um, now it's dead completely, so I guess I'll throw it away. My birthday's literally in November, and that's been hanging up there since then. Snack break. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, it's been about an hour. Um, I've just been cleaning silently, and well, there's been some progress made. Like, look, it's all gone. No giant pile of onesies or big stuffed llama. Can you not? The big stuffed llama is over here, underneath my vanity. And look! There's no big pile of trash over here! Or here! There used to be stuff here too! And that countertop is all clear too! And that countertop is all clear too! Y'all, these countertops have not been clean in so long! I am so proud of myself! Okay, so now I have a place for all my candles. Before they were all like placed miscellaneously around my room. Now they're all here. So yes, I am a basic white girl. I have candles in my room. But you know what else I have in my room? A jar of pickle juice. It's been here for about three months now and I'm not getting rid of it. It's become part of my aesthetic. Can't call me a basic white girl now, huh? Oh my gosh, I remember this. We would have like art assignments to do during the day. And one of them was to make a collage out of magazine clippings. And my fat ass made a collage out of just food. Just food. Okay, to whoever who stole my $150 calculator and then turned in the cover to Lost and Found. Fuck you. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your family. Dishonor on your cow. There is a special place in hell for you. Of course, you would turn in the little part that has my name on it, and then you would keep the actual calculator. So then I had to buy a new one. I have so many hairs in my room, like just scattered around on the floor. I should probably vacuum this as well. I just, I just shed everywhere. My hair is just dry and dead all the time, no matter what I do. I just have no energy left in my entire body. Like I was up until 3 a.m. last night with a pounding headache and you know what that means that means my period is coming soon and i hope it hurries up and gets here so that i have an excuse to eat junk food because i eat all the junk food when i'm on my period and right now i'm feeling really fat and i'm feeling like i'm not living the healthiest lifestyle so once i get my period on i can justify it to myself and to other people because i ate five cookies yesterday and that's not healthy but usually i have like an increased appetite before I get my period. So can it just hurry up and get here, please? Because I just, I really wanna eat a carton of ice cream and not feel bad. Apple bottom jeans, boots with the jeans. The whole club was looking at jeans. She hit the jeans. Next thing you jeans, so you got jeans, 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 jeans. Ugh. Why is that meme stuck in my head? I have a problem. You know, this was also given to me by an ex. Not the same ex who gave me the whole basket of bath stuff. It was my first ex. I had the time of my life and I owe it all to you. My mom gave me this brush and I wanted the brush that's like the really thin bristles and you like do that. And I was like, I want a contour brush, mom. And she was like, okay. And then she bought this without me knowing. And then she gave it to me. And I was like, oh, thank you. Like, 
Thanks. <laughs> it's not what I wanted, and I don't know if I'll ever use it. So it's just been laying unopened on my dresser. And I don't know what to do about it. And I just feel bad. Should I tell her? Is it too late to return it? It's been like five months. So while I was up at 3 a.m. with my headache, I started thinking about this thing from my childhood. Does anyone remember Annabelle the sheep? It feels like a fever dream. I just remember this sheep with a pink bow. The sheep would like hop around on screen and like she would get abducted by aliens sometimes. I don't know. But my mom would always play it on the computer and me and my brother, we would just get down to it. And like, apparently it doesn't exist anymore. And that just hurt me right in the childhood. I don't know. I just randomly thought of her last night and I was like, dude, I wonder if she still exists. And I've spent forever looking online trying to re-download it, but it's not available anymore, which is really unfortunate because I would so pay for that for no reason. Oh my gosh, do you guys want to know the cutest thing my mom does? Okay, so she knows that my brother always steals my food, no matter what food it is. So she brings food that she buys, especially for me, straight to my room, unless it's like refrigerated food. And so this is my favorite, 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 favorite type of Pop-Tarts, unfrosted brown sugar cinnamon. And she put this whole box in my room for me to eat a breakfast whenever I want to. And then she saw that I was running low and she got me another box. Mom goals. I appreciate this woman so much. I have so many fucking stuffed animals and I have no idea what to do with any of them. <laughs> you can see some of them in the back over there. You want to see the stupidest thing I own? A pink cheetah print fidget spinner why did that hurt my hand to do this was a christmas gift not asked for um i have no use for it Ooh. fidget spinner tricks but yeah i own it Pretty much just as a meme like i i really only own it for jokes to be like oh look what i own if you don't own a fidget spinner are you even a gen z <laughs> Should I make this channel into a fidget spinner tricks channel? No. Then even more people will comment that I'm irrelevant and two years behind the trends. I mean, are they wrong? Here's a bookmark that one of my ex-friends gave me. It's broken. Just like our friendship. So this is my room now. Still kind of a mess, especially the desk. Hung my posters back up made my bed for once <laughs> this was my setup for the video and yes i use ecosia save the motherfucking trees bitch i just want someone to love me messy room and all well if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up i usually have more sanity in my other videos so you should go check them out and you should subscribe or else all the posters will fall off your walls like they have during this video. Almost all of my posters have just fallen off for some bizarre reason and you all... Why am I getting mad at my posters? What? I upload every other Tuesday and every other Saturday so you should hit that post notification bell so you never miss a video because you definitely want to watch more content like this. Definitely. Have a good one, hoes. Bye.